Hi, this is Rich, and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to install um, Cisco Viral. Um, I'm, re I'm rebooting my, my study program. It's been a while. Work has taken over. and uh, But I'm just getting back into it now. I used to use GNS3. I've been reading about Viral. In fact, hands up, I bought it last year. I just didn't get around to using the damn thing. Anyway, <laughs> I got the reminder to renew my license, so I figured I'd better use it now. I... Um, I've bought it a couple of days ago, downloaded the viral OV, uh, OVA that's on a laptop in the data center. I also installed ESX 5.5 with this build release onto, a, uh, onto an HP DL360 um, which is also in the, in the data center. So let's get started with this, with this installation. I've got two guides here that are going to help me through and I really am at day, day one with this so I know very little about it. This is the Cisco uh, viral Home, home site, home page, and I'm going to install Viral using the vSphere client, using this how-to. Uh, how I also found this excellent document, there it appears, from Jack Wang. Um, thank you, Jack, for writing this up. I hope you save me a lot of time. It certainly looks very uh, inclusive, and all the things that I need are in your, your page here, so <laughs> hopefully it'll save me a lot of time. I'll thank you again when it's done. Okay, so let's get started. I've got I've got Parallels running on my Mac here, so I'm going to spin across. I installed VMware, the client here. Now, the, the OVA image is in the data center, so I will need at some point need to spin spin over there because the image is not on here, but I just thought for the... For speed, we could do this. So I'm just going to log in to the, uh, to the vSphere client here. When it starts up, I got this page. I've got no VMs on it. I'm pretty vanilla. There's nothing special about this box. It shows you some things about it: CPU, number of cores, amount of RAM, etc. 64 gig, which I'm told will be enough for me. <laughs> um, not being an infrastructure guy, but I know enough that it should work. <laughs> so here we go. On the configuration and networking. This is the default out of the box ESXi configuration. I've got a management network and a uh, port group called VM network. This is the documentation from Viral and had a, I had a quick read so just enough to get make sure that I had the right ESXi version before I installed that and the support things. Uh, there, was, there was something in the BIOS that I had to do. I had to enable VTX which wasn't on and some hyper-threading stuff which wasn't on, but that was all done in the server BIOS, so just make sure whatever host you're using has got those, got those capabilities. Download the OVA, which I did, that's on the laptop, in the data center, and then straight into step three, creating the network port groups. So it says I have to add three new ones and, and edit the, uh, the default one. And they're gonna be called flat, flat one, snat, and int. So, the default one is VM Networks. So I'm going to edit that, and that's going to be flat. And then I add flat one. SNAT. And int. Okay, painless enough. So now I have these four networks. Back to the web page. Next and finish to create the port group and all that. Select the newly created flat port group. Click select edit, select security, activate promiscuous mode tick box, and select accept. Okay. Tick the box, accept. box accept accept and security tick the box accept okay close and there we are so hopefully that's the first section of step three done and now we're on to deploying the OV the viral OVA okay welcome back so We've done the network configuration. We're now going to go into step four, deploying the viral OVA. Um, I bought the viral software a couple of days ago. 
and downloaded that on a laptop in the data center. So we'll hop over to that machine and see that in just a little while. We just want to check the following things. So the vSphere client is downloaded from the ESX host. Uh, you just web browse to it and it gives you a, a hyperlink. You can download it. Um, so I'm pretty sure the build will be this version, but we'll just check it. And then we um, use the client to connect to the ESXi host and then find the OVA file and de deploy that. And then we run through these few steps, confirm the thick provision laser zero, and then map the ports uh, to the port groups from the image, and then it says get some coffee, which is always a good thing. I'm just gonna hop over to the, to the machine. Um, so this is what we did earlier. I've just created one more network interface here for management, and which is on VLAN 255 for me. It's the, it, it has a it has a way of getting a DHCP IP address to the to the viral machine, which I believe will save me some time. Um, if you don't have DHCP, you have to go through static IP and so on. It's awkward. I'm going to... Uh, in fact, I just wanted to check the version, didn't I? So, vSphere client is 193.3072. 193.3072, which is there. Sorry, 199.3072. 199.3072. Yep, that's right. Okay. And so we say file deploy OVF template, find the file, which I already had anyway from before, thick provision disk, give it a name, I won't change it, I'm not bothered, stick it on the store, which is the larger of the two drives, um, yeah, thick provisioned, and then you map the network, so this is the one that I want to be getting a DHCP address and be able to connect to the internet, so I'm just going to change that to be the management interface. The other one's map one for one, so flat to flat, flat one to flat one, SNAT to SNAT and int to int. Next on that, we will power it on, say finish, and then I think this is the section where we go and get some coffee. Okay, so the OVA is deployed now. Um, I just shut the, shut the machine down there because I told it to start, but I can't edit the settings while it's running, so that's why it stopped. But if you now edit the, uh, you just get a dialog box saying it's completed, you click that and then you get back to this screen. So you see, in fact, it, it doesn't show the screen, it shows this screen. So you have to see the virtual machine by clicking the, the plus there. But anyway, um, either right click and edit settings or click on that edit virtual machine settings hyperlink there. This is what's inside the machine. And looking at the how to over here, I now need to adjust the virtual machine resources. Um, basically trying to match the, the capability of the ESXi host with with what I can from here. So Viral requires a minimum of two vCPUs and four gig of RAM. And uh, that, uh, that HP server that we've installed this on has two physical CPUs, a bunch of cores uh, to make the vCPUs and uh, 64 gig of RAM. So we're gonna just give this as much as I can because I don't have to run anything else on this box. So I'm gonna give it 40, Eight gigabytes of RAM and uh, CPUs. I'm going to give it um, 16 vCPUs if it will allow me. There was a license limitation on this. I can't remember what it was, but if you push it too high, it's, it wouldn't take it. Anyway, that's four v. Let's try. Let's try uh, changing this to to some more. Let's have eight. Oh wait. Uh, oh yeah, eight and two. No, it's the same. So I can either have four v, four virtual sockets and four cores per socket, or I can have um, eight virtual sockets and two cores per socket. Either way, we get sixteen. So anyway, sixteen vCPUs. There we go. That said, what else do we have? So select the resources tab. Select memory. Enable reserve all guest memory is locked. Okay. Uh, is that under here? Uh, maybe it was under there. Resources, memory, reserve all guest memory, all locked. Okay. Click over to say, okay, to say changes and move to the virtual machine. All right, I've done that. So step six, uh, configure static IP optional. Now, earlier I set up the management network, so I'm hoping that this, when the server boots up, it will just get a DHCP address in the management VLAN that we've got. So hopefully we won't need to do any of that. Configure proxies, nope, don't need any of that. Prepare viral for activation. Prepare viral machine for activation for further configuration performed the described below. 
All right, well, let's turn it on first. So here we are. Let's start the machine. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is the license thing. So as I said, um, this is using the freeware version of VSX. So I guess they've limited the number of VCPs we can have. Let's make that eight so it matches the license. Which I'm guessing someone I'm sure someone will tell me tell me I'm wrong. Um, I don't even know if it's better to have four virtual sockets and two cores per socket or <coughs> let's do that. I don't know. But that sounds better to me. Power quotes. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <coughs> okay, it's coming on now, so let's turn the console on. See what we're doing. Okay, viral and viral. Viral. Let's log in. Okay, now I think this when you run shows you've got an IP. I do have an IP address, so the DHCP is running. That's that's good. That's all I need to know really. In fact, actually, um, let's try and ping some stuff. Just make sure. Let's type that in properly. There we go. So we've got internet connectivity. That's that's good. Um, all right. So double click the X turn. Maximize the terminal window and confirm that KVM acceleration is used or can be used. Pseudo KVM dash OK. <coughs> Maximize. All right. Pseudo KVM dash OK. Acceleration can be used. Um, use a method of your choice to confirm internet connectivity. We have done that. Did the ping right? So I did with that. Oh wait, I didn't try DNS though. So let's try Google.com. DNS is working and uh